press enter here so it's open up so now just come inside the geometer and you will see that a request has been captured here and what it does it gets you the it gets you the vicroy.com URL here so this is the navigation part right so what we did just we just click on the URL so we have only navigated ourselves into this website domain so don't you think that we can this is a transaction controller we can name rename it for example we can say navigate to app all right and if you'll see here this is the bitcoin.com this is the get method so this HTTP request we can also make navigate to URL now what it does basically the same sort of things doesn't need it any more for this request so we can simply remove this this is the only success message we can also remove this because anyways we will be using response assertions and codes later at later point in our framework so we can just remove it and if you will see here what it is it is going to get you this URL bicroy.com and with this path so for our today's framework the first uh, I'm, I, I mean I don't like rules a lot but for today's the algorithm I would say I would keep only one sampler request inside a transaction controller that is a mantra today for guys so please keep these this thing in remember and you would see why I am seeing I am saying this it would give you a lot of benefits late at later point so for now just remember whatever I am going to do I will just keep one sampler request inside one transaction controller so if you will see I have navig I am I have requested a get against a different URL so I want that here so what I would do I would refresh it again and if you will come here the same sort of things would have been recorded here if you will see this one right so what I would do I would simply remove it and I would remove them both as well and then I am going to make them a name here any name whatever I want to do or what would be the better option would be that uh, okay just just write it navigate to Dhaka sorry guys yeah oh what's happening and the same name you can give over here as well the main motto is that I just want to use only one sampler inside one transaction controller so now guys see that whatever I am doing okay I am seeing some different language that I am not able to understand so I'll have to click on English and once I clicked on it I'm coming back here so the new request has been come up so I would ch change the name here I would say change language if you would see here bitcoin.com en I would go back I would see yeah this is verified so I need this thing only or you can get this one as well so this is by default is coming so what I can do I can simply remove them and I can do like this all right so now what should I do I should log in now I can understand what's saying welcome to bikroy.com okay so this was the Bangla okay all right so that's what that's why we weren't able to understand that so I'm clicking on login button now 
so it opens up some login panel so I come up here I see what is going on so I this was a login link so what I have done I would say navigate to login and here what I would do I would do that click login and I can simply remove it remember I'm keeping only one sampler inside the one transaction controller now I am not a logged in user so I need to sign up I will click on sign up so let's see what has been recorded so all right so there's a logging option option so these guys have given the people sign up and login both as a single login options category so I would say navigate navigate to login options or simple would be the choose options and uh, I would say here the login options I would say that what I did actually yeah oh sorry yeah so the click sign up and I can remove it now what I am going to do I would click on the sign up using email because I don't want to use my Facebook here let oh my god what I'm so this is sign up using email so I would say sign up using email and what it's doing is the same URL I would see user sign up the same URL you notice the URL en user sign up the en user sign up so I am on the same page I can simply remove it first and on this I am going to name it fill sign up fields okay now I'm going to do it uh, let's say I'm going to say wings to automation dot com I'll just copy it let's say if it accepts all those so this is all the name and passwords everything so I would click sign up now oh so it is saying me to for the okay valid email address so I would say wings to automation at your mail dot com first come here is there something is happening all right so I would say sign up now oh Jesus so the passwords would work I guess sign up now so it says it's in now oh my god so that's what I saw so let me see I am passing these things over here I can simply remove it first what I am doing here the same thing yeah so this is the final request so I can remove these two requests straight away because the final is the latest one because we made mistakes earlier yeah so this is the right one after login I am inside the dashboard page yes so what I am going to do first I need to name it and that would be simply sign up I mean these guys have uh, built up a lot complex unnecessary clicks in their website I should have chosen something else but hopefully it's it would not create any issues further so on this let's say do sign up I can remove it straight away but you guys notice that this URL we actually need because we have 
we navigated to this URL, so we need it. But as we agreed upon that we would keep only one sampler inside the transaction controller. So in order to get that in the same same sequence, I would hit this again as we did earlier. So if you see the same thing is come up here and I am going to remove it. Now this is the dashboard page. So I would say navigate to dashboard and this is my dashboard. So I would say my my dashboard. I can simply remove it. Yeah. And this success I can remove it as well. Yeah. So now we would go to settings. Let's see what's up there. Settings over here. We can say navigate to settings guys uh, if you guys have noticed what we are trying to do here we are already we already have begun to create the keywords so whatever we are maintaining the names over here these will be reused later as the keywords that's why I am making some changes in the name so navigate to settings so that it should be more understandable for a uh, non-tech person so navigate to settings I would say uh, click settings or something like that I would just uh, remove it now I could come up here and I would log out So once I have logged out, the send log out button, a lot of requests. First, let's say, uh, what should I call it? Uh, click log out, let's say. And this should be, or it should be the log out only. And this is the actual where we will be applying the click. So I would say it the click log out and I don't want this success. I don't want this, but I want this because anyways I am redirected to over here and uh, yeah. So what we can do, what I can do, I can just go there and I can simply click on it. Uh, I needed the previous one, not the, this one. So let me remove this anyways. And this is the same log out C. And if you see the same control over here, the pair variable. So I am just removing this. Now we are done with creating our scripts and uh, we can name it verify logout you can see put the same name over here verify logout so guys we have kept our promise that we would keep only one sampler inside the one uh, transaction controller now whatever you are seeing here okay now so we are done with it so what we can do we can simply go and in our workbench in the script we can simply stop it because now we are done with our keywords okay Now what we should do at this moment, we have created our keywords, but we don't know how to use them because we haven't added anything in the test plan. And in order to make them executable, we need to execute, we need to add them inside the test plan.